Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this and asked that they just need the handle part of this basket. And I'm guessing this is centimeters, because judging by his thumbnail and his hand, uh, it looks like 31, and it couldn't be 31 inches. So the hardest part on drawing this is going to be this bottom piece right here. But all I did, and I'm not going to take all the time to do it, you only have to draw half of it. Get your three-point line. Let's uh, three-point curve line, and go from there to there, and just bring that down. Now make sure you click on the node, so they'll be joined together. And then we can, with the exception of the the rulers in the way, but and I'm not doing a a bang-up job, but you can get the idea and then just go from there to there, because it's just got these little humps. Now we've messed one part of it up a little bit, but you could take that and very easily bring it closer to that line. So you've already got a picture, and then we could scale it to, I really just needed one picture of the whole thing and one measurement, but he gave me a lot of measurements, which is good. So here's the bottom part. Now I don't know yet, I mean, look, this is six and a half, and this is 9.8. So we can, if we join all this together, we go to object and combine it, then we can make this 6.5. And then we'll go from there on the rest of the, and we're gonna put P and put it at the center of the page. Now the whole thing, this might be boring for some of you, 31 inches. So what I'm gonna do, just to give me a reference, or not 31 inches, 31 centimeters. So I've changed mine to centimeters. I'm gonna change my nudge factor to 31. I'm gonna bring it out an indexing line, and I'm gonna put it at the lot bottom, and then I'm gonna control D and make a duplicate. So there's what my, neat, my, my thing needs to be you know, that tall. And let's look at this circle. He sent me a picture and it's three and a half. So we're gonna draw a three and a half inch circle. And it's equal, so I'm gonna keep this locked. So 3.5. Now I'm gonna hit P, put it in the center of the page. And I'm gonna nudge it up 30. Well, let's go back. I should have put it at the, well, it is at the bottom or it's close to the bottom. So what we could do is just control, start moving and then control and just have it snap to that line. So that's gonna be the top of our item. Now he did tell me that, or he didn't tell me anything. He did give me some good measurements. The top of it, well, I don't know if that's, a, it looks like a straight line or it could be tapered a little bit. So we're a little bit off on the tape I can't tell, I'm gonna say that's two inches or two centimeters, and the other is three. So here's a good little trick. We're gonna draw a rectangle that is from like there to there, and then move it over and make it three centimeters wide. And I'm gonna hit P, put it in the center of the page, and then I'm gonna lift that up to where it doesn't matter how long it is right now, but the top part is only two inches. So we're, or centimeters. So I'm gonna change my, my, my nudge factor to one centimeter. I'm gonna turn this rectangle into a curve. I'm gonna grab that corner and I'm gonna nudge it in. That might be too much. Whoop. I must be reading that wrong. Uh, well, you know what? I need to nudge it in a half to make it equal. So let's make it point, point 0.5. And, and this isn't exactly right because I'm nudging it from the very top. And when you do it, maybe make it more evenly. 
and then just take the virtual segment of leaky and delete through that. And hopefully this isn't touching, but we could bring this down just ever so slightly, holding down the control button. Take that and take that away. Take your smart fill tool and fill it in. Nudge it over. And now everything's locked together. Now we need a hole, but that's easy. The hole looks like it's one centimeter. And to find the center, and, and just remember which one's our real one, because see there's the, the broken up one. Now one thing you could do is hit P, put it in the center of the page, put both of them in the center of the page. And then you at least you know you're in the center of this hole and just start moving it up until it's about equal. And you can kind of look at that or eyeball it. We can set our nudge factor on point, point zero zero 0.001. Now, I don't know what that is in centimeters, but we can nudge that up ever so slightly. And there's a way to get that done. Well, I'm going to show it. This circle was, I think it was three and a half. 3.5, yep. So what we could do, this is a good way to make sure something's in the center. Let's just take that center hole out and put this circle right on top of that one. And then we can nudge it ever so slightly up. So we're good. Now let's change our nudge factor to like two and let's nudge that out of the way. And then if you put this in the center, select them all and go EC. Well, I messed up there because it moved the outer circle. I need to grab the outer circle first, hold down the shift key and grab the other one and EC. No, it's just the opposite. Grab this, this first, then grab the inner circle C, E, I just did it again. I can't remember which way I did it. Yeah, there we go. Now, all we have to do is nudge that. I can't remember what we nudged it. Yeah, two centimeters, and we just have to click it so many times. Now, that is in the center of that hole. And that should work. I hope I got my measurements right. You, you've got the item right there. Uh, and you could change this and play with this quite a bit. Uh, but something like that doesn't look half bad because you only had to draw half of it in an e-sequel. E anyway, kind of a fun project. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.